Hello, Peter Lamb here, leader of Crawley Borough Council, coming to you from Crawley Town Hall. Uh, the lovely people in our comms team here have asked that I produce a video uh, to explain why it is that we are applying for city status and to try and deal with some of the myths that might be out there around that bid. And they've also assured me that if I stumble at any point, they're going to throw some pictures up uh, to, to try and illustrate things to make it clear uh, that I'm not stumbling, it's one coherent length of speech. So let's hopefully uh, avoid that many pictures. Um, so, why is it that we're bidding? Well, Crawley. If it became a new city, it would be the first new town in the country to become a city. 75 years ago next year, uh, we were given uh, our official status as a new town. Crawley was designated to become a new town. At the time, we just a collection of villages and large estates. Uh, and it was really part of the vision for what the country could become uh, over the course of the last half of the 20th century, giving people uh, decent housing that they could afford outside of the slum, slum accommodation they've been in uh, in central London providing decent quality working environment and a lot of leisure. And over the course of that period of time since, I think we've really grown to show that not only uh, can we deliver all those things, but people who are coming from all over the place and here together as one single strong community. And I think that's a very strong aspect to uh, our town. It's, it's recognising that this is the 70th year of uh, the Queen's reign and it's going to be the 75th year of our town's history. A uh, few myths that need busting. A lot of people keep talking about cathedrals. Uh, they're lovely buildings. They're not a requirement, though, in terms of becoming a city. In fact, actually, the first city that became uh, a city without a cathedral was Birmingham, which at the time it was designated as a city did not have a cathedral. And that was under Queen Victoria. So a few, uh, in a number of decades on, over 120 odd years later, um, we certainly have no reason why we can't bid to become a city. In fact, if Crawley was uh, to become a city, we would be the 25th largest city uh, in the country. So it is very far from being out of the reach um, of the town. Um, what are the benefits of bidding? Well, look, we've had a really tough few years uh, in town. I don't think there's any denial about that. Um, it is an opportunity for us to put ourselves forward to the country and say that we're standing strong, we're standing proud, something to unite around, and actually a big opportunity for us. We're a town that has got a thriving uh, you know, airport, usually one of the country's, one of the planet's busiest uh, airports, with one of the strongest economies the entire country even now and we're going to grow and we're going to continue to improve again uh, as we emerge from the pandemic and as we you know reach city status it's making a strong statement about the fact that we're not going to retreat uh, as we come out of this pandemic we are going to actually make use of these opportunities and you will find that where people gain city status it does drive investment in those communities and we need that investment in order to get people back to work so it's not cheap to just come together as a town and potentially benefit from the products of investment that come out of that um, our bid is strongly supported. Uh, clearly, I'm supporting it. Other local politicians from across the political sphere uh, are saying that they also want this to go through. They recognise the benefits as the local community groups and organisations with the football club involved with all the different uh, business groups. It's a real opportunity for us uh, as a town to come together as we push for that uh, new status. Um, one of the things that people always ask when it comes down to uh, council on Facebook, whenever we put anything out there is, well, how much did that cost then? Well, the answer to that question is it's costing us about 200 quid so far. Uh, it's a form. It's not very complicated. Uh, I, clearly, I'm using you know one of our comms team's time to do this video, but it, it's all part of the in costs uh, that we've already got uh, factored into the running of the council. It's not a huge emotional expense. It's about 200 quid so far. It's not going to result in your council tax going up, but it could opportunity, provide the opportunity for new opportunities for you and for your kids uh, moving forward. Um, if the bid was successful, uh, there might be a bit of rebranding we have to do, uh, but we don't have to do that straight away. We actually have a, a progressive programme of rebranding in town over time anyway. You'll notice that if you look at the Crawley Borough Council logo in different places, it's got a different number of leaves. And the reason for that is that each of the leaves there and each of the colours represents a different neighbourhood uh, within the town. Uh, and as Forge Wood has been built out, it's, it's got another leaf going in there. And you'll see that step by step we do that. So we may well rebrand as a, a city council at some point. Um, but it doesn't have to be right away and it doesn't have to be all in one jump. Um, but it's one of those things where it is a benefit, it is a boost, and it does get more recognition for your city compared to being in the town. Because it's worthwhile bearing in mind there are far more unitary authorities uh, in the UK than there are places that receive city designation. It's a really significant thing uh, to secure. Uh, thank you very much for your time today, and we look forward to your support in getting Crawley City status.